Welcome inside the Orleans Arena for the second semifinal game of the night. Going into the conference tournament last year, we were obviously very excited. We went on quite a streak uh, toward the end of the season, winning games, and really seemed like we were unstoppable. And going into that BYU game, when Coach Walter said, hey, we feel like we're the best team in this tournament, we believed it. You know, our guys played hard. We gave ourselves a chance. We didn't play a great game uh, in terms of efficiency, but I thought our effort was great. Oh, to the Glover scores with contact. And it was like really the whole like third time to chalk. We're gonna beat BYU this time. We're gonna get this one. And it was such a hard fought game. Everything was so emotional. Hinkin scores. Here come the Dons. Good pass. Tollison three. It's good. Tie game. We're one game away. We're playing for a conference championship, you know, for winning a conference championship and getting an automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. You know, there's just so many things on the line at that point. 11 seconds to go, two-point game. Here comes Holmes, being harassed by Winder. Holmes loses the dribble from the corner. No good, follow also no good. And BYU advances to the championship game in the WCC. You know, to come up that short, to have uh, to be that close, you know, one shot away, you know, one tip in away, maybe one, one overtime after that tip in, uh, I think that's what that's what hurt the most. I was so heartbroken, especially to lose by two points. You know, it's, it's still I think about it every night. And Coach Rex Walters, proud of his team. And I saw her guys, and I saw the expression. It kills me because um, I was so proud of them. You know what I mean? I was just so proud of how hard they played and uh, how much it meant to them and I didn't want them to have that feeling. The nation really rewarded us and given us that NIT birth, understand that we are a, a pretty darn good team. And it was a big step for our program in, in terms of, we'd made the CIT and the CBI before, but I, we hadn't made one of those two predominant tournaments that are showcased on ESPN. When you come to the game and you see Bill Walton being, you know, announcing the games, and you see, you know, LSU is a big-time SEC school, and and then you know they're playing on ESPN every other weekend, and you see these, you know, top 100 recruit guys playing against USF, it's big time. You know, I do think we were very deserving of it. Won 20 plus games, made the semifinals in our conference tournament. I thought we had a great team, great coaching staff, we had great support from the university, great fans came out to that game, uh, which made it all the more special. I think it made our guys hungry for more and that we are close to being uh, the type of program we, we aspire to be. Now we have some credibility saying, hey, we're moving forward, we're taking this into a, in another direction and you know, the athletic department in a whole this year, is, is their whole mantra is from good to great and, and we want to go from good to great to being unstoppable. Our team has handled it very well. Our coaches have kept us focused on the fact that we, we got another season and we're gonna do it again. I think our seniors, this is, this is it. You know, that's the moment that we always try to remember because that's the moment we're trying to pass. And when our legacy is you know, left here, we wanna say we got past that moment. And as a team, we got that much better. And if we continue to understand that that moment was a teaching lesson for us, then you know, we're going to be so much better because of it.